David in Kokomo, Indiana. Like, is that where Cocoa Puffs are made? <laughs> Hi, Paul. DOP, DSD over PCM, is DSD or is it PCM? I don't understand. David. Well, David, join the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so many people ask me about DOP to explain it. And a couple of episodes ago when we were talking about um, building a DSD-based system, I kind of went over it. But look, I understand. I have hundreds of videos out there, hundreds of questions, and it's good to go over this stuff time and again. And one of the reasons I like to go over things multiple times is because... Every time I riff about a subject, I come at it from a slightly different angle. I'm, you know, trying my best to make it simple, to make it understandable. And so I look at it as just inching away or chipping away at the old information block. And one of the greatest joys for me and doing these videos and writing my books and the stuff I do, or my daily post, someone will write to me and say, aha, I got it, I understand it. And I'm like, oh, that makes me happier than just about anything when the light bulb goes off. Because let's face it, this is, this is complicated stuff. This, you know, these boards and all this stuff that we design here, this is not trivial stuff. So, enough said. Okay, DOP, DSD over PCM. So let's start, basically, what's the difference? DSD, direct stream digital, if you will, is what we call PDM, pulse density modulation, and PCM is pulse code modulation. Pulse density modulation is the basis of all A to D converters and all modern DACs. Uh, all of them run DSD and they convert it to PCM at the output. So everything runs PDM in, in this world of ours, this modern world. Didn't used to be that way. It used to be when we had ladder DACs and, and ladder A to D converters, we went directly to PCM and really they didn't do much with DSD. But over time and Bit rates and sample rates have gone up so that we're, you know, routinely running things at 176 kilohertz and 32 bits or 24 bits. You really need to use sigma delta modulation, which is just a fancy word for a converter that takes the, the sigma delta modulation is what we use in an, an, in an A to D converter, and that takes it, turns it into pulse density modulation couple, two or three bits, and then that is converted into multi-bit PCM. Okay, I, I don't want to get too far off in the weeds on that. But basically, DSD is a constant stream of ones and zeros. Never stops. It just starts going. When, when we turn the recorder on, it starts going. And as things get louder, the density of those bits, nothing, the timing never changes. If it's running at 2.7 megahertz or 11 megahertz, like DSD-256, um, the timing is dim, dim, dim. It's always the same. The only difference is, do you get a one or a zero? And when you get lots of ones, that's what we call high density, and that makes for the, the sine wave or whatever it is to, to rise up. When you have very few, it's low down and it's quiet, okay? But the point is, it is a continuous stream, just like analog. Analog, as I'm talking, is a continuous stream. The background noise, my blabbering, blah, blah, blah. It's a continuous stream if you look at it on a scope. So is PDM or DSD, continuous stream. PCM is not a continuous stream. PCM is made up of words. So if you've heard about 32-bit, 24-bit, 16-bit, 8-bit. Those bits tell us how long each word is. So think of the words as a train, and each of the words is one of the cars on the train. And 
If it's a small train, we have eight bits. If each, each of the cars in the train is a little bit bigger, maybe we have 16, and even bigger, we have 24. And that's the amount of information within each word. How fast the train goes is the sample rate. So every, every car that passes by this quick is determined by a certain sample rate. So let's say we're running at 44,000 times a second, like CD rate. Then that car full of, in a CD, 16 bits goes through once every 44,000 times of a second, okay? So sample rate is how fast things are going, these cars, these buckets full of bits, and each of the bits is a word. What makes it a word? What separates that into that little car is what's called a header. And there's a little 8-bit header on, I think it's 8 bits. I don't know, I'm an analog guy, so just take it for what it's worth. <laughs> Each of those headers has a certain amount of information. What's in the information? The information tells the computer what this word is, where it should go, what it's supposed to do, and all kinds of stuff. It's just, it's an identification. And that identification is on every single word. And then the information, the 16 bits, comes later, and then there's an ending thing that says, this is the end. And that makes up a word. We don't have that in DSD. There is no words. Continuous stream of data. So, what do we do? Well, Andreas Koch and some guys from DCS came up with what's called DOP. And basically what they did is they just said, okay, we can't easily at this date change the way, because a, a computer doesn't know what to do with it. You start putting DSD into a computer and it says, well, where's the header? What am I supposed to do with this? And unless you have a driver that says, ah, I know what that is, and most people don't, computers, Macs, and Windows don't come with such things, we have to trick the computer because we're trying to put a square peg into a round hole. The square peg being DSD doesn't fit into the round hole of our computers. Computer says, I don't know what to do with this because I need instructions for every one of these words. All of this works with words, right? So that's what happens. We take a DSD stream and we break it up into bits that are equivalent of like the 16 bits. Let's just call it, I forgot exactly what it is. But the equivalent of this chunk of information, we take it out, we add a little header and a little footer, and to the computer, it looks like PCM. And it says, aha, I know what to do with this. Send it to a DAC. Out it goes, the DAC takes it apart, puts it back together, and we have the pure DSD stream reassembled and back together again. So it's not converting it, it's just taking a whole big wad of stuff and dividing it up so that each little bit goes onto a separate car on this train and the train goes over and lands at the DAC area. Then those cars are unloaded, if you will, the headers are thrown out, everything is reassembled and bing bada boom, you've got DSD. There you go. Hope that helps. Thanks.